It is the 19th of November 2019 in the Western Pacific. Two areas in the tropics, Kalmigi, and also a new uh, location, a tropical depression, uh, likely going to be named Sarah by Pagasa here in the near future, located just towards the east of the Philippines. Both of these storm systems continuing to bring rain. That is the number one issue with these. It is rain out here across the Philippines. So I, I want you to keep that in mind. But let's take a look at Kalmigi first here. Currently impacting the northern islands of Luzon. This was actually upgraded to a typhoon about 12 hours ago by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. It developed a little bit of an eye in that center of circulation, but if we loop this ahead here, you can see there is shear really interacting on this, so I think that typhoon status is short-lived, and uh, already actually JMA uh, keeping it still as a severe tropical storm. The good news with this shear still interacting on this, it's pulling most of the moisture away from northern Luzon. And what that means is that the rain totals are going to be less out here across Cagayan, uh, really, and also down towards the south. I did not expect any rainfall in Manila for a week now from the system, and you can see that is exactly what is taking place with this shear continuing to interact with this storm system. So, for now, uh, really, this one's going to continue to linger, move slowly towards the west, and then eventually maybe towards the southwest. But the convection, uh, as you can see here from JTWC, staying mainly north. So really uh, kind of missing out on the western half of the Philippines. And just the, the big interaction with this storm system with the northeast on monsoon is going to continue to kick up these gusty winds coming out of this. So uh, overall, still a big rainmaker for northern areas of Luzon. But uh, I think really our attention is going to change the next system, which is out here towards the east. That's going to track in the northwesterly projection, or west-northwest, I should say, and still expected to bring more rainfall across northern Luzon on top of what we've already been seeing here. So flooding is still a, kind of an issue with this. Now look... Manila, uh, Visayas, really, these are just normal rains out across the, these locations. Uh, the storm system is going to be really staying mostly here into northern Luzon, but we're still going to see some scattered showers. So rainfall, the main issue, tropical system will impact Luzon by Thursday. Continue to check uh, for official updates from those agencies, including Pagasa, JMA, and JTWC of these areas out here in the tropics. Now, earlier I did mention the Northeast Monsoon continuing to interact with Kalmigi here. And you can just see, this is actually the GFS model kind of showing the storm system as it weakens and pulls off there towards the west with Kalmigi. And you still have that Northeast Monsoon screaming in, well, from the Northeast. And that's one reason why you still have those gusty winds out there. But let's change our attention now back towards the east because our next system will start to work its way in as we go ahead into Wednesday over through Thursday. In fact, as um, you kind of look ahead here, this is the rain uh, threat uh, really just heading into Wednesday. It starts to kick up with those showers out ahead of it. I think that's because we really do have kind of a scattered, loose system right now. And if it doesn't consolidate enough, you're going to have plenty of showers kind of pushing in on Wednesday into Thursday. And that's eventually going to move over northern Luzon with those heavier areas of precipitation. So flooding and landslides really going to be an issue here. Here, I think because you have back three other storm systems that just hit the same area. Then we have another one on top of that. I mean, th for example, by the way, I do want to compare up some model comparisons here. This is by Wednesday evening. Uh, we are currently looking at the ECMWF model. I'll change it up with the GFS. Uh, GFS actually showing it a little bit more intense but uh still the same outcome it's it's a lot of rainfall uh that comes on shore there across northern luzon so yeah i mean there's plenty of precipitation here in the forecast from this system and of course uh from our other system back here uh towards the uh the east as well so there's a look at satellite still going to continue to keep an eye on both of these um, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, of course, post them down in the comment box below. Uh, always appreciate that feedback. And as always, yeah, stay safe out there.